Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using a bunch of different corks. This used to be my sister's and my brother-in-law's. These are from like different wines and I just took all of them. I'm just kidding. They gave them to me. But Amazon has like a bunch of options. Just type in recycled corks. But I'm going to take an exacto knife and I'm just going to be cutting all of this in half, like across in half. If you're using corks that have like cute letters on them, just cut the cork in half so that you still have like the cute lettering once you cut it, if that makes sense. Just being really careful when you're cutting this. I don't want anybody hurting themselves because of this DIY. Just be careful. I'm going to be using some wood letters. E, an A, and a T. And I'm holding that in my in my hand so you can kind of see how like big these are. And these are from Walmart, by the way. They were really affordable. I bought them a long time ago. Hopefully, they are still there. And as far as for my A, that's the only the sign that I could find. But I really like it. I think it's unique. I'm going to be using some acrylic paint, white one, and my brush. And I'm going to be painting the edges plus the edges on the front just as a background in case something like on the edges shows giving this two coats then I'm going to be using a super glue and I'm going to start gluing my half corks first like the letter E top part I'm pretty much gluing all of them like the same way applying my glue to the letter gluing the cork on top on the edge the bottom and for the edges of like my E I'm going to be cutting how much cork I need then just gluing this then for the middle part of my E is pretty much the same thing I'm going to be so repetitive measuring how much of like each cork I'm going to be using cutting the excess and then just gluing it this for those details of my E it's pretty much as I did with like the top right of like that E. For my E, this one is like the most different one as far as what I did because my T is pretty much like my E, you're gonna see that in a minute. But first for my A, I'm gonna be measuring how much for this like middle piece of I'm gonna be needing, cutting those edges, gluing that, and then just completing the right part of my A, cutting the edges, and doing pretty much the same thing on that side. The design of this one is like the left part is like thin and so for the top part of my left side of my A, I'm just cutting the excess as to how pointy I need it to be, then uh, gluing that. And then pretty much gluing all my way down. And then on the left side of this part of the A, pretty much just measuring how much of this I need to cover this part. And then just gluing that. Now, because I'm going to be gluing this A at the bottom of my E, I need in the top part of this flat. So I'm going to be cutting the excess cord that I have here. I should have done this before, but I forgot about it. And yet you can cut it after like I'm doing here. Nothing happens. The glue dries and sets. And for my teeth, pretty much like doing the same thing that I did on my E. Gluing the top, then the bottom like this, and then just cutting the excess of this cork because I'm going to be gluing this. And speaking of which, I'm using this crazy glue. I have a review coming up because I needed something really strong to glue this since they are going to be hanging on the wall. Gluing my A at the right bottom of my E, gluing my T at the left bottom of my A. I'm going to be hanging this on the wall, and this is what this one looks like, guys. I really like it. I am glad I went for it. This took me, no kidding, like a year to make because I was procrastinating. And as to how I wanted this to be. This is inspired by something I saw online, but adding my own twist to it. Actually, my dad's twist to it. He was the one that had suggested that I should cut the cords in half. So yeah, thanks to my dad for that. But yeah, I really like how this turned out. It looks so cute on the wall and hopefully you liked it too. If you did, don't forget to comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and share this. Check out more home decor that I have on my channel. I have other stuff with cork on it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.